I remember a long time ago I made videos about heating my basement in the winter with Bitcoin. Well, now things are going a little bit differently. I'm using a GPU for different reasons, but I'm definitely using it a whole lot. And it is definitely uh, heating my room. I have found uh, a different use because in here we got 19 degrees out there. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, come on. 10 degrees outside, whoa, 90% humidity, that's rough, that's rough. It's all right there, Skeletor says global warming's not actually real, right? Stable diffusion is nuts, I just can't get over the image it generates. Another thing I can't get over is just how frickin' hot it makes everything. So I got a GTX Titan X card down here, and I felt I put a finger on one of the uh, the memory units, and it frickin' burned my finger. Unless it felt like it. So here I got Faith crystals as uh, as uh, heat sinks, and even a little Jesus. How you doing there, J Rock? Ooh, ooh, got the disco lights going. RGB for his pleasure. Making up some scary pictures. Okay, so we got the thermal gun out, and as you can see, the chip itself is just under 80 degrees. I've managed to get it a little bit lower as time has gone on. But, uh, legit, my faith crystals seem to be doing something about taking down the heat. I mean, so what goes on here is you got to monitor them, and ultimately, what is going to happen if there's not enough surface area there getting cooled down by the fans? I have multiple fans. I have so many fans. Then, basically, it, that is going to be for naught. So if you don't have fans hitting the surface area you're making, it's basically going to be for naught, I am to understand. But, uh, yeah, heating the house with uh, GPUs, faith crystals, and all of that fun stuff. Anyways, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. You are a spooky, scary skeleton rattled. Anyways, take care of each other. Have a good one.